Fresh is a show about healthy food and faith. We'll check out some of Atlanta's fresh markets and organic farms, and we'll cook delicious meals with their roots in faith traditions from all over the world. Healthy dishes from the farm to the table on Fresh. Do you ever wonder where your food comes from? Today on Fresh, we'll go to Taylor Organic Farm in Ellenwood, Georgia, where farmer Neil Taylor grows his vegetables without using pesticides. And we'll meet Hillel Nori. Shalom. He's the rabbi of Congregation Sheriff Israel and a vegetarian chef. The story of a farmer, a rabbi, and the woman who introduced them, coming up on Fresh. I did not have the lust for money. You know, a lot of money doesn't motivate me. I enjoy what I'm doing. I work hard, and I guess the old Bible says you're going to make a living by the sweat of your brow, and, I, and I've done that. So God's not lying when, when he said that. Well, I don't think uh, God really intends for us to use a lot of chemicals. Mother Nature tries to heal itself, but eventually Mother Nature is breaking down because we are constantly, constantly abusing her, the way I feel. So I think we should uh, step back and think about what we're doing and then go for the all natural foods that God's got available for us. A CSA is, uh, stands for Community Support Agriculture. It's where the su community supports someone in the agricultural business. And what it is is where the farmer grows on, a, on, a, on a, a number of crops and he gives those to the families on a weekly basis based on what he's got available. So the money comes up front and the farmer needs most of the money up front and then throughout the year he gives back on their investment until at the very end hopefully there's some left over for the farmer. So I've got started uh, with a few families and, and the first year was like 10 or 15, then the next year, next time is about 30, then I went from 45 and then finally I had a, a couple from the congregation Sheriff Israel that came up and, and, and asked me about being involved in the CSA and I said sure. Try that blackberry right there. I don't really like blackberries. You don't like blackberries? But maybe I never had one of yours. Well you can always spit it out. Hey, no, look, that one is good. Oh, yeah, look at the lettuce I'm going to get this week. I think eating seasonally makes you feel more connected to the land. Even though we have, you know, beautiful big supermarkets with lots of stuff in plastic cellophane, it doesn't taste as good as your tomatoes. Oh, well thank you very it much. It just doesn't. Yeah, have some more. And it doesn't feel as good to eat them. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take your tomatoes any day. Take your tomatoes galore. As long as they keep growing, they'll keep producing. My husband and I moved down here about two years ago and um, He's the Hill director at Emory University. And we've been living in Brooklyn and had a lot of like wonderful connections with the Jewish community through, we were members of a co-op and members of a, um, a group of people that met twice a month and we brought food together and we made food together. And um, in our first year here, I really missed that connection to a Jewish food community. At the same time, this, uh, a national organization, Hazon, started this what they call food work. Um, two of our arts is the program that, that, the, that we're working through and they are trying to get congregations and Jewish community centers and synagogues all around the country to partner with farms and start CSAs based at their synagogues or community centers and um, it's really, I mean to me it's an incredible vision and I heard that they were trying to launch more sites and it just occurred to me that Rabbi Nori at Sheriff Israel was the guy in the community. I had taken this vegetarian cooking class with him uh, before pace, Passover, and like the passion that he has for, for vegetarianism and for good food, it, it he was clearly the leadership that we needed to work with, and the minute we talked about him, um, talked about this with him, he just clicked, and, and um, it really went from there. When we return, Hillel takes Neil's fresh veggies and cooks up a southern vegetarian feast fit for a rabbi.